Creative Cow community. I am Bree Clayton, and you are here with the Creative Cow Show. I am speaking today with Daniel Alexander, who is the Director of Product Management at High Vision Connect. Today, we are going to be learning how the High Vision Connect platform facilitates live streaming with houses of worship. Hello, Daniel. How are you doing? Hi, Bree. Thank you. I'm doing well. Daniel, would you like to explain to us how the High Vision Connect works? Sure. Uh, High Vision Connect is a platform that we've created for live and simulated live streaming to make it easier for churches and other ministries to reach their audience. Uh, we use a combination of our hardware, our encoders, as well as the cloud-based platform that uh, enables jobs to be scheduled or stream live for uh, reaching the audience. Uh, it's very easy. You're able to take the encoders and pair it to your account, and then it makes it very simple to set up live streams in just a few clicks to uh, schedule a immediate service or schedule services in the future for uh, your that map with your weekly worship services. Now, your target audience, which is houses of worship, how does High Vision Connect benefit your target audience? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, we've been in the the streaming business for a very long time in, with High Vision. And, uh, and additionally, we've been working with Houses of Worship for over 10 years. And one of the things that we found is, you know, organizations of all sizes have three common problems. Uh, one, because they're a house of worship, they often are juggling a lot of different demands and resources. And so that can affect their, their media platform. Two, they have different sets of skills on their staff and sometimes even volunteers that they use. And then three, when you're reaching your audience, you know, you want to be able to, to do the full circle and understand that customer journey of how your audience is, is being impacted and being reached with your message. So when we built High Vision Connect, we thought about those three challenges and really focused on taking what we had learned from supporting really large ministries that are well known in the broadcast space to take that know-how and that capability and make it easy enough for a smaller uh, family church or local church to have the same capability of reaching their audience. Uh, also, we knew it was important that we had ease of use so that uh, no matter what the technical skill of the team or staff or volunteers, they would still be able to operate the stream and get going very easily with just a few clicks. And then finally, uh, we've integrated analytics deep into the platform so that every stream, every broadcast that you have gives you full circle uh, visibility into who the audience was and what your reach was. Now, how does High Vision Connect make church streaming easier? Yeah, so that easy ease of use is really driven by us taking a step back and looking at what these workflows actually look like. You know, it's real easy. There are a lot of great tools that are covered by yourself and others in the industry that cover, you know, con content management or um, network addressable storage, all of those components. But when you're looking at the, the user stories and the user cases around our customers, what we found is taking a lot of that complexity and maybe even jargon and removing it and really making the workflow look the way that customers do their streams on the weekend. So you're able to focus on campus and you're able to focus on speakers and you're able to focus on the live event, which they often call services, instead of you know, going from encoder to content management to you know, CDN delivery, we remove a lot of that complexity and make it really simple to focus just on the workflow. And do you have any uh, real life examples that you would like to share? Sure. So one of our really successful customers is Redemption Church that's based in San Jose. And then like a lot of our, our larger customers, they have campuses maybe in a region or across the country. And Redemption Church also has a campus in South Carolina. During the pandemic, they really saw an, a huge increase in their audience where they went from having maybe an average of 40,000 uh, viewers on a weekend to sometimes peaking over a million live viewers over the weekends. So what they were able to do is switch over to Connect. And by using Connect for their solution, they were able
able to simultaneously deliver their stream to their own website, as well as we provide what we call connections to Facebook and YouTube. And these provide simultaneous streams where from one encoder, you're able to deliver those streams to multiple destinations without having to do a lot of extra configuration steps. And so that made it more easy for the team at Redemption to focus on their messaging, focus on their streams and build that out versus having to do a lot of extra configuration and maybe even have multiple encoders or multiple encoder channels to get those streams out to those different target destinations. And what, what are the realities and challenges that these houses of worship face uh, in live streaming? You know, I actually come from the house of worship world where I've been working in technology over the years. And one of the things is that when you're working in that environment or those kinds of organizations as a nonprofit, you know, often you have a lot of responsibility. You know, you have what you do uh, that's in your title, but you also have the different roles that you're helping out to achieve the mission of the organization that you're a part of. And so with Connect, one of the things that we've been able to do is take all of those different parts of the workflow and all of those different responsibilities that you have and really bring them back to a central place in the Connect interface. So again, you don't have to independently manage your encoders or manage the streams or a scheduler or even the content management. All of that is in one simplified interface. And so that really makes it a lot easier for our customers to get those streams, manage them, make quick changes, and even make targeted changes on different destinations. We allow you to change the title or metadata or even calls to action for uh, target outputs that include YouTube and Facebook. So each one of those can have slightly different information that's more appropriate for that audience that's engaging on that channel or platform. So a comprehensive solution like High Vision Connect is going to be a really important investment for these houses of worship. What are the long-term benefits of this inv investment for them? What we see is that our customers really are able to focus on the content and, uh, you know, Content is king, even in house of worship. So they're able to focus on the series or the messages that they're getting out. And they're able to do the content management and editing, uh, manage the metadata, target those different platforms. And it allows them to really focus on what's important to them, which is that message and connection. Those messages are a part of building their community. And so that allows them to focus on uh, getting uh, individuals involved from their audience. Uh, they can use interactive elements, which one of the things that's unique with Connect is that we support the SRT protocol, uh, which is a protocol that High Vision open source a few years ago, and it allows really low latency streams. Uh, it's a, become a broadcast standard and it's been industry adopted in things like Google Cloud and Amazon, uh, uh, web services, as well as other cloud platforms. We're using that technology in Connect that allows a very low latency from the encoder all the way back to the audience. And so when the speaker or the person uh, preaching from the platform is delivering their message, they're able to ask for interaction either from a chat or an interactive element. And there's not a multi-minute lag that was often the standard in the industry. Daniel, do you have any house of worship predictions for 2022 or beyond? Um, well, I work in technology, so I'm not going to uh, get too far out in prophecy, but um, I would say that there are some trends that we can definitely recognize that are happening in media, and the same trends are impacting house of worship. Uh, one of the things that we've seen is the move to short firm media. So TikTok, um, uh, Instagram, and even the uh, short form of YouTube sh shorts, uh, we're seeing that our um, organizations also want those small, high impact, short form videos that they're able to use to reach their audience. And so being able to manage your content very well in a platform like Connect helps you manage all of the related media and not just the primary message. Uh, one of the other things that we've seen is that a lot of our customers are also realizing that their reach can really grow if they have uh, audience members that are listening to podcasts or watching video podcasts. 
And so with an integrated platform like Connect, we're able to help them provide and manage that media across distribution um, platforms such as audio and video as well. And then finally, I think, you know, if I were to take a, a step back and look, it, most of the media trends that are happening um, also impact house of worship. And so uh, we can't ignore that there's been a pandemic over the last couple of years. And so we saw um, online church and online streaming for worship services start maybe over 10 years ago. And it was kind of a, an edge idea or uh, just something that people were experimenting. But now that's a critical part of the uh, the weekly experience for a lot of houses of worship. And I know for my own personal church, uh, they stream and they reach, you know, a really large audience in tens of thousands every weekend. And so uh, the online streaming is not really an afterthought anymore. It's become a primary part of what a church or ministry does as far as connecting to their audience. And so with all of those, I think High Vision Connect is really well positioned to help make those things easier and spread and increase our customers' reach in those different ways. Well, that's beautiful, Daniel. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Creative Cow Show. It was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.